just walk us briefly through of what is not classified, how you were able to recruit one of the most incredible assets of the well, twenty of the twentieth century. Well, Valerie Matrakin was the chief archivist of the KGB, and he and his wife and his handicapped son um, lived a rather sort of isolated life in Russia, and they had serious, you know, problems, you know, with the sort of Soviet state. So what Matrokin did over a massively long period of time is that he transcribed, literally, in a sort of personal code, almost every KGB document he saw. <laughs> now, he took this stuff home. I mean, he, he hid it in his clothing. He took a terrific risk. Took it home and then buried it under the floor of his dasher in Moscow. And he did this for, for like 25 years. <laughs> now, basically, he, you know, he, he just waited. He bided his time. Now, eventually what happened was, you know, as the Soviet Union began to disintegrate, he actually tried to present himself to a, an American diplomat, but was not identified. And I mean, I don't blame them, because most people would have thought, well, he's a nutcase. You know? <laughs> and I mean, you know, nutcases were not rare in, in this sort of genre. But in fact, what happened was he walked into one British embassy in one of the Baltic republics, and fortunately saw somebody who was sensible and balanced, and actually, the full story was not a member of MI6 initially, but this person took him seriously, and and wrote a full account of the meeting, and sensibly told him to come back in a month. Um, now, in that month, and he had provided some material, and it was quite clear when this stuff was analysed in my service that. Um, you know, there was something pretty extraordinary about this. So when he came back in a month's time, there was a highly qualified couple of people ready to see him. And, uh, you know, they told this amazing story. And how was the operation to well, then get, I, get I, out I, this incredible material well, and him and his wife and his handicapped yeah. son? Well, then I, that's the bit of the story I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> Well, he, 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 he was exfiltrated with his handicapped son and his wife. And then, um, clearly, <laughs> somehow, the whole of the contents of the Dasher was also <laughs> unloaded and transported to the West. And you got, um, 50, and you got 50 and you got uh, 40 years of uh, KGB. And I, uh, I mean, the funniest thing that happened to me, I think, by then, it was the end, the, the Cold War sort of ended, and we were, I would say, in liaison, but we had a relationship. So there was a declared Russian officer in London um, whose job it was, you know, to talk to us uh, on and off. And the day that the Mitrokin book came out, he phoned me up very sheepishly and said, could he have 500 copies? <laughs> and that was much, much later because, I mean, it took three or four years of investigation. It was not published. I mean, the books were not published on Mars later. <laughs>